Hello, my name is Taylor Olson. I'm Natalie Wetgen. And I'm Kayla Knudsen. And we represent the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. And we are very happy to be here and thank you for this opportunity. So let's begin talking about what we know. City Harvest is the world's first food rescue organization. Today, City Harvest has 20 or 2,200 volunteers who help bring food to more than 300,000 hungry New Yorkers every week. Now, nearly 30 years after its start, the need for City Harvest is greater than ever. Out of the 8 million people that live in New York City, currently 1.5 million struggle to afford food. And what we know is that last year, 61% of New York City food pantries and soup kitchens had to turn hungry people away because they could not meet the demand. So our mission was to create a campaign that will increase the awareness of City Harvest, and this will result in the substantial growth of their donor base and volunteer participation. So who are we talking to? We went to we want to engage a wide variety of New Yorkers who have a mindset for change. So who are these people? We are talking to young people. They are students who might not have the financial ability to donate money, but they are willing to donate their time and work towards bringing change. They might, not, they might be majoring in sustainability or social studies and are aware of the important issues that our society faces. As well, we're speaking to moms. Um, these are women aged 35 to 45, and they, um, they're busy and concerned for their families. They care about the nutrition and the environment um, that they're providing for their children, and they really want, um, but they also care about the ch other children in their society. And as well, the, these women have time to stay connected online. We are also talking to restaurant goers, AKA foodies. They are always trying new restaurants that pop up around New York City, and they are always looking for the best deals at their favorite restaurants and love to check into Foursquare. We want to connect to these proud New Yorkers in a way that will instantly inform them. And today, we live in an information-driven society, and we connect with social media through all kinds of technology. In the past, brands used numbers and stats to send a message. And today, these numbers and stats are easy to digest and visually stimulating with the help of infographics. As I'm sure we've all discovered, City Harvest has wonderful statistics on their website. And so we asked ourselves this question, how do we connect these numbers to our target audience? And in order to do this, we realized that we have to um, connect with New York City on a whole new level. And photographer Chris Jordan explains this very well in the next segment. The information that we have to work with is these gigantic numbers. Things in numbers in the millions, in the, in the hundreds of millions, in the billions, and now in the trillions. Bush's new budget is in the trillions. And these are numbers that our brain just doesn't have the ability to comprehend. We can't make meaning out of these enormous statistics. So, in our campaign, we are going to emotionally connect to New Yorkers and bring them to City Harvest with powerful statistics in a visually engaging way. We will motivate them to become committed donors and volunteers by magnifying the growing need for support. So, where do we begin? City Harvest is located five blocks from Penn Station. It is the largest commuter hub in New York City, and it serves around 600,000 passengers each day. We will center our campaign in and around City, Har City Harvest and Penn Station. Our tactics will spin the daily routine of a commuter and make it an emotional journey so they understand the message of City Harvest. 50% of the people standing in New York City food aid lines are children. So how will we represent this? On the side of a building, a line of children are standing next to a stat that reads, 
50% of the people standing in food aid lines are children. Donate to cityharvest.org. A QR code will lead them to City Harvest website with a video where children will talk about the fruit bowl program associated with City Harvest. New York City throws away 40% of the food it makes. So how are we going to illustrate this? Across from Penn Station, on the side of a building, a jug of milk will spill down the building and into a drain. Um, on each end, the copy will read, New York City throws away 40% of the food it makes. Donate at cityharvest.org. One in eight New York City households rely on food aid. We will replace the lines of a crosswalk with carrots, one green and seven white. On each side of the crosswalk, the copy will say, one in eight New York City households rely on food aid. Donate at cityharvest.org. At Penn Station, a large billboard with the question hungry will invite commuters to scan a QR code. Once they scan it, they will be brought to a microsite and have the option to select restaurants to give back to City Harvest. The profile of each restaurant will have a coupon and a brief description of their cuisine and information about their partnership with City Harvest. In order to receive the coupon, New Yorkers will be asked to enter their email. When they use a coupon, they will be prompt to donate to City Harvest. And for those that don't scan the QR, card, QR code described in the last tactic, there will be a, a coupon covered wall inside Penn Station. And the copy will read, 8 million people live in New York City, 1.5 million of them rely on food aid. And the most important part of this stat will be revealed over time as the coupons are peeled off. And uh, this is an example of those coupons. New Yorkers don't realize that hunger is a real issue in their city. With this campaign, we will reveal this problem, and with our solution, we will connect New Yorkers with City Harvest and its mission. These compelling statistics will gain committed donors and volunteers for City Harvest. Thank you.